Hello, my name is Jason and welcome to another episode of me drawing again. And uh, we're using the Conte or Patty crayons. <laughs> Conte crayons. And uh, like I said in a previous video, there's uh, 24 of them. I'll just move that. 24 colours. I've been using these quite a lot recently at life drawing and uh, just general practice. And I'm starting to get used to them a little bit. So today, let me just pick up the grey one. I'm going to do a, a drawing of something I think everybody wants. A uh, still life of a kettle. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, you know, what, what can I draw that will get me millions and millions of views for you know everybody when they start drawing they think oh god and there's one thing i want to learn to draw and that is a kettle and uh yeah me the same i agree a kettle is the most important thing to learn first so let's uh get it started <laughs> so um, Trying to get the uh, shape of the kettle first, just the basic shape. I'm quite rough because I know that I can blend a lot of it away and improve it at a later date. Um, so I'm just sort of sitting back having a look at the shape. I'm using a reference kettle <laughs> to uh, copy. Sort of, uh, Sort of remind the actual shape reminds me of one of those. Oh, what are they called now? Those like things that go over your a, a fancy dinner, and the waiter would go, "Oh, there you go." <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. There is the sort of shape reminds me of that. So that's what I've sort of uh, gone for. Just blend it a little bit. Just to smooth it. Yeah, it's uh, about right, it's about right. Like I say, I always say in my videos, I'm sure you'll be able to do it better, because uh, I'm sure you will. And here we go, we've got a uh, the spout here, something about there, something like that, about there. Yeah, it's about right. And that goes up. I'm just looking at that angle, goes up like that. So these are um, Conti crayons. I'm just using them like chalk, really. I'm just uh, just letting. I'm fairly light pressure. I'm just allowing the colours to drag off, really. Let's see if we can get that shape, something like that. Yeah, something like that. That's sort of more rounded there. course we don't want that anymore so just wet the finger we can get rid of that yeah, let's have another sit back and have a look yeah that's not too bad let's uh, have the lid kettle lid sort of there and <laughs> Let's have a look at the uh, the top. Top. So I've been uh, looking through the comments on my videos from everybody and the views, and uh, I'd just like to say thanks very much for copying and copying. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I'm doing. No, thanks very much for uh, commenting on my channel and uh, liking it. And watching my videos, you know, it, it does mean a lot to me. Actually, it's it's a, a great thing to share ideas with other people, and it's good that some people are enjoying them. <laughs> Not everybody, <laughs> but you always expect that anyway. So let's have a look. 
Yeah, so I've uh, reached over 8,000 subscribers, <laughs> which is amazing for me. I can't really believe that many people would have seen a video that I've done, one of them, and then decided to subscribe just from seeing that. Pretty amazing. So, what are we doing? We need to start thinking about light. When I'm uh, drawing, drawing or painting, whatever, same thing really. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking light always. So, thinking on 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 this one, the, the light is. trying to get that shape there and um, the light is striking out from over here um, let's see sort of here sort of striking here and it's coming into a shape and it goes the shape sort of goes along with the kettle shape so okay there's a sort of a, a bit of a streak that goes there If you if you go to the top and sort of come down like that, you can sort of get the shape. Let's just blend that out a little bit. Okay, let's have a look. And there is actually I'm starting to see colour in it as well. So we'll soon move on from this. Uh, whitish grey and we'll start putting in some colour where I can see it because there is quite a lot. It's dulled of course by the metal metallic pot but it's you know there is colour there. Okay. This area is actually a lot darker than this area so we'll we'll sort that out as well. Um let's have a look. We've got this bit here there's a this bit sort of it sort of goes round and it's, and it's sort of there's a, the, the gap and it goes to about there ish and it's about there so it sort of goes Have a look okay I haven't quite got that right and here it's more like that more roundedness so you can just use a little bit of uh, <laughs> good old-fashioned spit <laughs> <laughs> to uh, get rid of that and let's have a look at this bit like that and just indicate that I'm not too what about that and there's a bit there a bit there so as always I'm trying to get the essence of it I want the essence of the teapot I'm not um, trying to um, get an exact replica of the teapot down from the picture I use it as a guide for a while and then as always with me I get bored and then I start developing it the way I think it should be or the way I perceive it I guess I don't know if that's making any sense at all it's just the way um, I want it to look at I suppose it's like I was saying in my another episode when I go to life drawing, which I, I went to one last night. Um, I draw them the, the, with clothes on, even though they don't have any on. <laughs> I did last night. I did one the way 
she was, and then I did one um, wearing costume. It worked out pretty good in the end. I was pretty happy with it. Let's have a look at that. It's sort of getting somewhere. Handle shape is almost right. It's not quite right though. We haven't got that angle yet. It sort of goes up like this. And there it goes there like that. Sort of like that. And this area is lighter, so let's just put a little bit in. We'll start adding more to this once we get the uh, whole effect of the thing, which we're slowly getting, slowly but surely. As always, it's always a, uh, a process of improving upon what you're doing, constant improving, constant refining. Like this area. Actually, should really go more like this. That there. There's a bit more the dark. Let's have a look. Yeah. And there's also just grab the black make it a little bit quicker. And there's also like this dark area. Like that and then it's also on here as well so I want to get that shape. Kind of disappears at the top there. What we could do is getting rid of that white line here. Okay, we're, uh, we're starting to get somewhere. I'm going to have to start using some colour soon. And let's just uh, insert this chap here. It's a, uh, a, a ball on top there where you open the lid. Just using some black and then that circle and let's use a bit of the grey to improve it. The light is hitting it on this side. Let's uh, improve there just to make it obviously it's rounded. <coughs> okay let's have a look. Let's get in there. Sort of rounded that. There we go. Yeah. Um, so there and there. So there. Yeah. And then I'm going to go back over this and give that the white line that it needs. Just move it over. Hmm. We 
we've not got that handle right. It's going way too far up there. So let's just uh, wipe that off there. Once you get all the uh, structural things correct, that's when you can start having uh, a bit of fun with your drawing. It's always a uh, good fun to do. Right, let's, uh, okay, well, that, while that area dries, I'll just start working on this area. See, there is a little bit of a lip there. Uh, going about there. Yeah, that's about right. So let's uh, let's start introducing some colour. Oh, try not to uh, drop all my pencils. <laughs> right, what have we got? We've got some green in here. Some green here. I can see it sort of strips down there and there. Uh, there's a little bit there. I'm just pulling that to the shape. There's some green up on here as well. Let's add that. Oh, there's some blue there. Reflecting. Let's add that blue. It sort of goes into this. Like that, and some blue. Let's blend that in. That's a bit there. There's a little bit under there as well. So let's put that in. Okay. And I can see there's a bit of blue in there in a, in a sort of a strip. Now, this is the point where I can start exaggerating things. Because there is colours now, um, it's all very dull, very dark. There isn't a great deal of colour to it. So, what I can do, using my artist licence, I can start adding colour that isn't there. Adding green, bit green there. And uh, then, maybe there's a bit of yellow here. In this light area, I can start putting in some orangey yellow as well. You see, it all starts developing a lot more. Once you put the colour in, that's when things start to happen. That's when I start to uh, really start to enjoy it, start having fun once the colour's there. And then you can improve on all the forms. And I can see like there's, there's a bit of a shine here. So let's put that in. And the shine here as well. Okay. And there's a bit of brown. I mean, it's very faint brown on the image, but putting the brown in and I'm trying to blend the shape of the kettle just to improve things. This is an old kettle, I have to say that. <laughs> I dusted it off, brought it down, dusted it off, got it ready for uh, a bit of drawing practice. And what we haven't done is put that bit on there. Let's put that on now. Well, what would be nice. <laughs> I'm at that point now. I'm starting to enjoy it. So I start looking at the colours and thinking, mm, this black has a bit of blue in it. That's where this light is. It sort of has blue. I mean, it is really a grey, very greyish blue. 
if he was doing a realism picture, he would, that's what you'd be aiming for, but... Yes, that looks pretty good. And there's a bit more dark here than the shape is sort of like this. Yeah. yeah. And there's a bit of metal on the base of this handle. So let's just put that in. Let's put a little light there. And that shape. And then let's put a bit on here as well. Prove it a little bit. Let's have a look. Yeah. So this actual shape follows along with the, where the lid is. That's this little blue there. So put that in. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's looking better. And I can see. <laughs> I can see some red. So I'm, I'm really looking at the photo and I'm really um, exaggerating colours. I see there's, um, there's red here. So let's put it in, let's warm this area up. Trying to sort of use it almost flat so you get get some texture and then use it rounded and under here as well. Okay, let's have a look. Yep, not quite getting the angle right there. The red is in an angle like that. Yeah, that's better. The uh, angle of the top as well to me is more like this. So let's put that in. Like that. Yeah, that's uh yeah, that's pretty good. And then uh, let's get a bit of black. Use some of that just to uh, add some more form. Okay, let's have another look at the uh, picture. Okay, there is sort of a glint of yellow. Something down here. Yep. Yeah, and there's a bit on the that angle there. So let's just introduce it there. And there as well. Okay. You can't really see anything here where this joins, it sort of just goes into the shadow, so maybe we can just give um, the viewer a chance to connect that themselves, rather than uh, doing every part of the drawing. You can always give the viewer a chance to finish it off for you. <laughs> uh, and they likely do a better job with their mind than we would with a pencil or something. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I need to put the indication of this coming down like that and then around like this. There is no white line here, so let's get rid of that over initial drawing with a little bit of black. This as well, I don't want that there. We can lightly go over this area. Finger. So we're uh, developing it. 
we start looking for additional areas that could be improved upon. As this, yeah. this challenging area <laughs> of the handle. It comes down a lot thicker than what I've got here. So let's do that. Let's use a little bit of uh, blue. Just there. Like I said, you don't need to do the whole thing. You can you can do that and that's it. And you can say, well, there you go. That's how it's going to join. <laughs> You're the viewer, you finish it, that sort of thing. You can do that with drawings. A lot of the masters do things like that. Not that I'm a master. <laughs> Far from it. I'm a student. Okay, I'm starting to look at things that I could improve upon. Shapes. And sitting back, always sitting back, always checking it out, having a look, thinking, well, that's not right, it needs improving there, it needs improving there, light, light. Let's, let's we can be violent with it as well it's light this is where I want light to be and you can throw it on and there it is this here maybe, maybe little additions there just to say that that goes around and in this area There and then it's saying it's dark here as well. You need to add both light, dark, dark, and light. See, so once you've put a little bit of light on, then you can come over with the black and you can work on creating that shape with the black. And then you blend it to the angles that you need. Okay, now we're uh, we're really starting to get somewhere. Put a little few little dots here, and this cow, um, <laughs> it's an old one. It's made of lots of cups of tea. It's got a load of dots. Didn't it's in. There we go. Okay, let's have a look. Nice if we could get a little line there. Just needed improving that bit of. Hmm. Yeah, we're at a point where it's slowly starting to come together. Reflected light. Let's use a bit of that yellow. Let's just reflect that there. And then get some yellow there. Let's put a little bit there as well. Why not? So uh, have a look. Yeah, the teapot. What does it need? It needs it needs a little more here, I think. It needs a bit more here. And if you're doing your if you're following along and you're doing a teapot, have a look. What do you think your teapot needs? Try and experiment. Experiment with colour. a little bit better. 
And now, what do I want to do? What do I want to add? Yeah, maybe a tea bag. <laughs> maybe this uh, still life. Oh, let's just finish this off before we add a tea bag. I haven't looked at this for a bit. Uh, let's put it here. It sort of connects there. Goes like that, and then like that. And that goes like that, and like that, and that goes like that. Something like that, anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be a little bit high. Looking at it from a sitting back, looking at it, I might. Like, yeah, that looks too high. Uh, so there's no way out of it. <laughs> Other than wiping it off, so let's just wipe that bit off. And while that's drying, uh, I'll stick a tea bag in. Then. Uh, let's have a look. So the scale of a tea bag would be about here. Let's say it goes like that, and then like that. It's like that, and the T would be sort of here in the bag. And there's a little crease in the bag like that. Let's just soften this up a bit. Maybe there's a little crease there. And before we work on the bag, we best put the T in. So the tea would be quite dark, a dark brown in colour. Maybe something like that. Once smudged in with the black of the card, it'd probably get about almost right. Yeah. And then we can start putting the bag on the top. Lightly blend over that. Okay, yeah. And now let's have a look at the bag. Maybe there's a light hit in there. And maybe the light is hitting along here. Tea bag. Does that say tea bag? <laughs> That's a question you have to say, really. Does it say that I am a tea bag? Because if it doesn't, yeah, the viewer might be confused. Oops. Let's get some black. That's, uh, Black and blue. Let's sit back and have a look. What can we uh, do? Well, of course, we need to still work on that area. I just feel like the tea bag could be improved upon. With some little additions to make it look more like a tea bag. <laughs> oh, I know what would work nicely. Let's put this one of those little uh, little tea bag. Uh, Strings on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's uh, let's carry on with that area at the top where we got our lid. So our lid will go to about there. I would say. Goes like that, like that, like that. It's all about there. Yeah, it's out there. About that. 
and that bit um, goes about that. that there. Yeah, something like that. And black area there. And that's black there. It's a bit of blue there. Let's get a bit of white. Let's just improve that. This one's really to be yellow. Wants a bit of yellow on there just to add a bit of light. That's one line. Okay. And then the blackness would act, does actually come over in front of this bit. light. Let's use a bit of uh, the green that I used before. A bit of light there. Oh and uh, <laughs> while I think about it, why not add Make this kettle hot. Use the uh, the pastel on its side. Let's create a little steam. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a uh, little bit different to my others it's uh, it's uh, a picture that I feel uh, needs improving some more <laughs> but it gives you an idea of uh, what you can do with Conti crayons and some black card and uh, hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you again at another one Cheers.